Good morning, everybody. I woke up at 9am. Don't ask me why. It's not the time I'm used to waking up. Uh, usually I wake up at 6, at least that was before. I don't know, maybe I've accumulated some kind of tiredness in a way, but it's hard for me to wake up at 9 so today is another gloomy day but i hope it's going to be the same as yesterday and it will become sunny closer to the noon but i really need to force myself to do something on such a gloomy morning i'm going to brush my teeth right now that's the way i, I brush my teeth like we don't have any sink here uh, i just like get um, a cup of water and uh, usually I brush my teeth uh, outside. I remember about the running. <laughs> That's something I'm not excited about, but uh, I know that I will feel great. Today was pretty cold uh, indoors, at plus 19 or 18 uh, inside. That's why like, I found my warm pyjamas to put on. Usually I just like, Oh, slip in a t-shirt. These are the pyjamas from my childhood. Can you imagine this? All right, I'm ready for the running. Just doing several circles around. Time. It's harder for me to run for 10 minutes without any stops. Two more circles and I'm done. By the way, these are the consequences of the gale. Just stopped by to show you. Yay, I've done this. Now I need to catch my breath. See you later. I'm going to remove the net. Uh, that was a very good protection from the birds. And we managed to save our harvest of blueberries. Uh, and I'm going to look, uh, like to take the last bits of blueberries left there. Right now we're going to my godmother, so I'm walking with my mum. And as you can see, it's a very pretty jug for flowers. These are the types of the jugs and baskets that my mum is weaving. And uh, it's totally out of paper, but that's a very nice, I mean, like that's something that my godmother loves a lot. And that's a very nice decoration thing, especially for dried flowers. So <clears throat> this year we planted lots of flowers for drying that preserve their color and their beauty in a way and that's how you can arrange so right now we have two jugs and one of them we're taking to my godmother that we haven't visited since the gale so i'm pretty like interested in what happened to um to her flower garden after the gale that we had because she said that uh, her plot suffered a lot because of the wind because she doesn't have any protection uh, in the area on her plot and we were lucky to have the row of trees that protected us so I'm going to take you with me
I completely forgot to say why we are going to my godmother apart from checking her plot is because my godmother knows a local beekeeper and his honey is the best I've ever tasted so every time when I visit my mum and when we live here in the village we ask my godmother to actually ask for a jar of honey from this person obviously we buy the honey but it's so hard to find um, good quality honey here but it's also very nice that um, I buy the honey not like from any other region but actually from my local area which makes it pretty um, pretty moving in a way so that's also one of the reasons why we are going to my godmother is to take our jar of honey So now I'm going to the second part of the village, which is the biggest one. Our part is the smallest. This one is the biggest and the oldest. So it appeared first of all. So here they have a school. Uh, also they have a shop, a local really small shop with all the necessary products that you can buy. And my godmother lives in this part. We live in that part where we don't have like anything, basically just the houses. You can see that I have lots of watermelons this year and it's incredible but the thing is something that we discovered with my mum and something we're going to drink tea with 
Um, basically, when you eat watermelons, they have a rather, like, you know, thick peel, like this green part, until it turns red. It's actually rather thick. Uh, I can't show you right now, but I'm going to show it later when we're going to harvest another watermelon. The next one's going to be this one. I suppose it's going to be the heaviest. So, we dried, well, like, we left the peel and we dried it. And it's so delicious. That's the best candy ever. And it's so great. Like, it's, I mean, like, beyond any imagination how we can do this. But basically, we're going to drink tea with a watermelon, but with a dried version and dried peel, which is insane. And you know what's the interesting thing is? After the watermelon that we picked was lying there, uh, it was a watermelon of 9 kg. The peel, which was left, the amount of peel which is left after you eat the red part of the watermelon, that was 3 kg out of 9. 3 kilograms is going into compost pile. I mean, like, still, composting is the best thing ever. But in any case, if you can salvage something, you'd better do that. So <laughs> we salvaged 3 kg of peel. And in dried condition, it weighs 700 grams, I suppose. But that's the best treat ever. I recommend doing this if you have lots of watermelons like I do. I didn't do that previous years because... And the thing is, we didn't have lots of watermelons. I mean, like, they were big, but there were a few of them. This year, there were so many of them that basically it's like... <laughs> it's like growing cucumbers for me. Um, yeah, but I'm just like boasting now. The Hellenium, look at this. It's like, it enjoys the rain. Oh my god, so beautiful. The hydrangea chewed up. 